Hello YouTube, this is Chesco from STEM APKs. Welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to continue to customize Emacs. So let's get started. The first thing we need to do is SSH into the, our Raspberry Pi. The way to do it is SSH uh, and the capital X in order to get the graphical user interface and uh, your IP number like we've done it in every tutorial. Put the, enter the name, your password, and once you're inside your Pi, in order for you to open active, like I show you in the first tutorial, all you need to do is enter the active command and it will load. Depending on how many packages you have installed, it will take longer, of course. If you have less packages, it, it will be much quicker. But while it's loading, I wanted to show you this. This is from the GNU.org foundation that is open right here. And this is a, a manual that is absolutely free and it's right from the creators of Active and it tells you, you know, it goes into everything that, 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 that Active can do and more. I mean, it's a very, very nice guide, especially it tells you all the power and, uh, of, um, of Active. And also another one. Uh, that I wanted to show you is this one right here. Uh, where is it? What did I do with it? Oh, it's here. This is a book by uh, it's a really good book. It's, uh, it's called GNU Active Beginner's Guide and it's a, it's a very good book by uh, Jesper Hansen and they have some chapters that are available for free uh, in the internet um, if, if, if you if you have an account with them or pack publishing and also you can purchase the whole book through them I mean it's a very good book I do have it I do own it it's a very good book I go I go to it all the time uh, it's, it's, it's the, either one of the guide the manual or the book is good okay but let's continue it is open now uh, the first thing we need to do is open a folder or make a folder first called active okay it's a folder called active I already have it created but in your case if you don't have one created which I don't think you do all you need to do is to make directory make directory and then named active okay and you hit enter and it's gonna tell you that it was created let me close this to get it out of here and it's gonna say that it was created okay uh, I did a, uh, something here to remind me of the steps so I don't forget anything. And the first thing you need to do is once you created it, you're going to cd into it, change directory into your the, the folder that you just created. And if you list it, mine, I, yours more likely will be empty. In my case, I have something that I created. I was testing something and it's going to tell you whatever you have in there and then you're going to do this you're going to do edit and when you do that in your case it might not open anything if you don't have Emacs installed because by default GNU Active uses Emacs as the editor uh, the default editor in case that you don't like Emacs or you prefer another editor it's okay all you need to do is enter in your uh, in your terminal here the following command that's all you need to do copy paste in your case it's gonna be edit editor and then the name of the command uh, the name of the editor, sorry. You can say if nano, if you prefer nano, you can do v or vim if you prefer any of those other editors out there. Whatever you want to do, this is the time to do it and it will change it for you just by doing the, that command and then hit enter. In my case, I have, uh, I'm using Emacs. I like Emacs so it doesn't do anything because that's the one that I'm using right now 
but um, that, that's all you need to do. It's gonna open, being that you 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 SSH with the with the X as we did it at the beginning, as you can see here. Being that you SSH with the X right here, it's gonna automatically open the uh, the graphical user interface. And if you're not familiar with Emacs, makes it a lot more user friendly because it, it you can use your mouse, it's up to you, or you can use the commands. You know, it shows you the commands. And if you do not know the commands, you can always download this, um, where do I have it? This thing right here is called the RefCard PDF. And it's a GNU Emacs reference card. It, it goes through all the commands and what they all do. This is a must have. If you do Emacs a lot, or if you're learning Emacs, this is this is a must have. I always have one right on the on my desktop to remind me in case because you forget stuff. Okay? It's an easy reference card instead of Googling something if if you forgot how to do something or or, or, or whatever. Okay? But Let's say that now you know what editor you're using. Now we're all set up with the editors. You follow here, we're here, right? Okay. This is very important. Whatever editor you're using, it doesn't matter, but you need to open a, f a, a file named ActiveRC and make sure it's saved inside the active directory that you just created. And you're going to say either edit If, if Emacs is not open or your editor is not open yet, you're going to do ActiveRC and mine is open already so it's telling me what's going on. But as you can see, mine is here. So all I need to do is, it's going to open it again, but it's going to open your 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 folder okay in my case I already have it created so let me close it so all I need to do is open file and this is very important that you remember this you see this box right here it says show hidden files make sure you have it clicked because if it's not clicked it will not show you some of the RC files that are that are shown so make sure you 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 have this press okay and you're going to create this file right here called activerc and you're going to put the following if you want uh, you see how i have it here that it looks like python it looks like matlab right here if you want that this is the time to do it all you need to do is enter these these things right here Okay, but if you don't want it, you don't enter it. That's all. Okay, but these other two things are necessary. Is you need to enter edit mode, async, and add. Make sure you add the active directory to your path, because we'll be using that directory to save everything active related. So you want to make sure that is in the path of your uh, of your computer. It knows where it is. Your pi. Okay, once you put these three lines inside, all you need to do is save, save us. Uh, mine is saved already, so I didn't need to save it, but it's just save us and then save it. And, and make sure that you test it afterwards. And the way you test it is just by saying path, and it should give you the path. It's just gonna give you the path if you wanna go forward you press F. If you want to go back, you press B. And it will tell you if you want to quit, just Q or go to the very end and it will it will show you the whole path. Okay. This is very uh, important to do. Make sure that it's, it's done. And once you do it, uh, one thing to do, another thing, is to know how many uh, packages you have oops <laughs> package list it will give you a list of the packages that you have uh, in your computer in your pi or wherever you're working from and it's gonna tell you if you want to load a package all you need to do is package 
load and the name of the package or if you want to unload a package all you need to do is unload and the name of the package okay so you want to unload plot or if you want to like that okay and hit enter and it should do it okay and uh, these are the most important things I, I wanted to show you some other things but I will show you that in the next tutorial because I don't want to make these tutorials too long so uh, this is the end of the tutorial like always uh, I uh, like to say if you like this tutorial please click the like box uh, and subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time thanks for watching